What's up there everyone and thank you for watching again today. Today I'm going to make a video of one of the most common Saturnidae moths found in North America. This is a Polyphemus moth, scientific name Anthria Polyphemus. This moth is only found in North America. Now in North America it can be relatively common, especially in places where there are some good shrubbery and forest. The reason it's quite common is because, well, the caterpillars of this moth are, so to say, open-minded and like to feed on a variety of trees. One of their favorites is oak tree, aka Quercus, scientific name, but also things like willow, salix, birch, betula, cherry, prunus, and to be honest, the majority of the common species of dedicuous trees found in North America. So despite being very common, it's also one of the most beautiful species in my opinion. Especially because of the highly detailed and beautiful high, um, eye spots that are on its hind wings. Now this moth was a little bit difficult to film. Because if you make it angry, it has a special defense mechanism where it does a threat display. Yes, a threat display basically means uh, when an animal is trying to bluff or scare away predators by, you know, um, changing their posture or flashing their colors. Uh, let me show you a small video of the behavior. When these moths are disturbed, they will flop uh, very angrily over the floor and flash their hind wings. Let's show you a video now. Exactly, that's what I was talking about. And that's because their eye spots are so good at mimicking uh, the eye spots of a predator. It will scare away the majority of predators to try to bother this insect. Because they are scared and think they have run into a predator like an owl, a bird of prey or perhaps a snake or fox. Despite that the moth is completely harmless and just very good at bluffing. If you live in North America and ever found a specimen of this moth, consider yourself lucky. Uh, this is my first male that hatched in spring. I have more cocoons of them. Uh, what I would really like to see is a female, because uh, I want to pair them and have them make beautiful babies so I can continue the bloodline. And maybe do a nice video of me breeding the Anthuria polyphemus. Oops. As you can see, it's starting to become angry again, maybe because my hand is touching it. And it's starting to do the floppy thing again. Oop. Thank you for watching. I'm grateful to have all of you as my audience. Don't forget to like and, subs like and subscribe. And consider joining my crowdfunding platform that supports my YouTube channel and my research. Thanks and goodbye.